many, many years ago, I was in St. Louis doing another project, and I'd gone jogging or something. I stopped at the one of the legs of the arch, and I was just sitting there, and this tour group came up, and they were looking at it, and one woman stood next to me and said, well, why is this here? What is this supposed to be? And nobody could answer her. I mean, if you go, say, to the Vietnam Memorial, you know exactly what it is the moment you're there. There's no question. If you go to the Lincoln Memorial. But if you go to the Gateway Arch, it's so abstract, it's so mysterious, that people can go there and still walk away not sure what it is or what it's supposed to be. And it just occurred to me it would be fun to do a biography about an inanimate object and see if you could bring out the human side that involves politics and economics and egos and all the things that make you know the human condition possible. It's called the Gateway Arch of Biography and it's an eight-year you know, research project that I, I took on to try and understand what was behind you know, this, this American icon. The arch is actually called the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial. It's supposed to be a monument to Thomas Jefferson and the Louisiana Purchase and Westward Expansion. To start that project off in the 1930s required a $30 million expenditure. And they had to get the approval of the voters. They had to get two-thirds majority to pass this bond issue. And it barely passed by just a few percentage points. But later on, the St. The, uh, St. Louis Post-Dispatch did a marvelous job of investigative reporting and found that the election was fraudulent in a lot of ways, that thousands and thousands of false voters had been registered in empty parking lots or, you know, run-down tenements that they really didn't exist. But that was necessary to get, you know, the approval of the voters. And it was led by um, a really effective politician named Bernard Dickman, who said, quote, I hate to be a dictator, but I've, you know, the, the people of St. Louis are, need this project, they need the jobs, they need the development. So this was an era in which elections were done in ways that are a lot different than today. To me, it leaves a lot of clues, and it was fun for me to try and understand what a monument that's supposedly to the 18th and 19th century uh, really tells us about the 20th century.